So hello and welcome to this uh, quick Adobe Anime tutorial. Uh, I already created a long version of this tutorial and I'm going to provide the link in the description. Uh, but right now I would like to show you what we are going to be doing today. And uh, I would like to also show you what was the long version of the tutorial. Uh, so right now I'm on the site FreePig and I'm going to provide you a link in, in the description and basically I'm going to uh, adjust this in Illustrator. So I have this uh, zip file once I save this and I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose extract here and uh, I'm going to double click on this uh, EPOS file and he is going to open with this in, in the Illustrator. I'm going to have some kind of warning but I'm going to just click no. Uh, now what I want to do is I would like to create new document so I will go to the file new or you can go with Ctrl N and I will go with 800 by 800 and I'm going to hit create. Uh, now what I want to do is uh, go in here and I will click on this house. It is uh, grouped together so I'm going to basically drag it to the new file like so and maybe I'm going to scale it. Uh, I'm going to hold shift, shift and alt. Uh, alt to go from the center and shift to stay proportional. Uh, now what I can do is uh, I can click and I can ungroup this. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose ungroup uh, because I want to have house the, in the separated layer and the chimney in the separated layer. So right now what I can do is I can go ahead and uh, group this uh, chimney together. So I'm going to hit Ctrl G or right click and group. And right now I'm going to group the house because once we ungroup this, uh, we are going to have these separated parts. So I'm going to uh, select everything like so. Uh, right now I'm going to click with the shift on the chimney to deselect it. Uh, if I click one more time, I'm going to select it if, uh, with shift. And if I click one more time with shift, I'm going to deselect it. And uh, right now I can move the house to make sure that I have everything I have. And I will right click and I'm going to choose the group. Now I'm going to uh, click on my layer one and I'm going to click on these three lines and I'm going to choose release two layers and we are going to have two layers and we will have to drag them outside of the layer one. So I'm going to click on the layer two with shift on the layer three and I'm going to drag it outside of the layer one like so. Uh, right now the layer one is going to be empty so I'm going to be able to delete it like so and I'm going to position the house about the chimney like so. Uh, so right now I'm going to save this, I will provide you this illustrator file and I will see you in Adobe Animate in few seconds. Uh, so right now I am in the Adobe Animate and I will go with 800 by 800. Uh, I want to have HTML5 canvas and the frame rate is fine as it is. So I'm going to hit create. And now what I want to do is uh, I would like to go to the place where I have saved my illustrator file that I'm going to provide you. So it is going to be uh, in uh, here. And basically I'm going to drag this uh, to the Adobe Animate. And uh, I'm going to make sure that uh, this is selected, but uh, it should be. And I want this to be as it is, so I'm just going to click import and don't do anything. Uh, now what I want to do uh, is maybe I will create some kind of background. So I'm going to click anywhere. I will go to the properties and this stage color. I'm going to maybe choose, uh, I don't know, something like this. I'm not going to bother about that. Uh, now I'm going to convert these uh, shapes to the symbol. So I will click to the house. I will go to the, to the modify, convert to symbol or F8. And I'm going to just call this symbol one, make sure it is movie clip and just click OK. And I will have to do the same thing for the chimney. So I'm going to click F8 and uh, hit OK. Uh, I can go ahead and rename uh, my layers or I, at least uh, one of the layer. So I'm going to click or double click in here and this is going to be house. So now what I want to do is I would like to extend my timeline. So basically I can go maybe to frame 100. I will click on one frame and I am going to click F5 and I can click the second and I can right click and choose insert frame, which is the same as F5. Uh, so now what I want to do is uh, I would like to uh, click on the house and I would like I want to go to the pre-transform tool or the shortcut is Q and uh, this little dot is the anchor point. Uh, it is like the point uh, around which this is going to be rotating, uh, around which this is going to be scaling and so on. So I'm going to position this uh, to the bottom like so and I'm going to hold shift to uh, go in here like this. 
and maybe right now I will go to the frame 20 or it depends on you and I'm going to create new keyframes so F6 or right click and insert keyframe and uh, I will go back to the first keyframe and I'm going to scale this uh, down like uh, so. Uh, don't go like this, uh, because the, this would mess your animation, but maybe something like this. And I'm going to click anywhere, I will right click and choose create classic twin. So basically we are going to have an animation of the growing house, like so. And now I will go maybe to frame uh, 30 something, and I'm going to create new keyframe. Uh, the point is that uh, the space between uh, these two keyframes, uh, this space, uh, right now I want to have a little bit smaller than the than uh, this space. And what I'm going to do in here uh, is uh, I will go to this second keyframe and I'm going to make this house a little bit bigger. So I'm going to scale this uh, maybe like so. And uh, then I will go to this keyframe and I'm going to create new keyframe. And one more time the space between these two keyframes is going to be smaller than between these two. So I'm going to click F6 and I will go to this keyframe and I'm going to scale this down a little bit. So basically we have started with uh, with uh, nothing, then it is going to be bigger than it should be. I'm going to create classic twin, uh, then it is going to be smaller than it should be. Uh, then in here, one more time I'm going to create new keyframe, F6, and this one is going to be but uh, only a little bit bigger than it should be like so. Uh, this one uh, I am going to duplicate one more time, so F6, and this one is going to be a little bit smaller, like so. And now I'm going to create classic twin uh, like uh, this. So basically we have, I will go one more time over it, it will go bigger, then it will go smaller, then it will go bigger, smaller, and then it will go to the original original size. Uh, right now, one by one, I'm going to click on this keyframe with shift on uh, this one, on uh, this one, this one, and uh, this one, and I will go to the classic ease, and I will change the no easing to the easy in out, because uh, this will make the movement better. So I'm going to double click, and basically, uh, right now what I can do is uh, I can hit Ctrl Enter and I will see how this is going to be looking uh, in the browser. So we are going to have something like this. And let me see it one more time. Uh, okay, and uh, right now if you want you can go ahead and play with it. So for example, I can go ahead and make this uh, even bigger at the beginning. I can make this uh, even smaller like so. Uh, maybe I can create a little bit more space between some of the keyframes. I can select more keyframes and move it like so. Uh, I can go ahead and click on this keyframe and on this keyframe and make the first animation uh, slower or faster or I can go ahead and select everything like uh, so and uh, stretch it to make it uh, slower or do it like so to make it faster. So this uh, this depends on you, you can play with it uh, as you want. And uh, right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing for the chimney. So uh, I'm going to uh, get this keyframe and maybe I'm going to position it uh, like so. And uh, right now I will hit Q and I'm going to position this anchor point to the bottom like so. And I will create new keyframe, I will click F6 and uh, on the original, on the first keyframe I'm going to scale this uh, down like so. And we are going to do the same thing. So we are going to maybe create classic twin like so. Uh, then we will go in here, F6, and this one I'm going to make uh, bigger, maybe like so. I will click F6 in here, and this one I will make uh, smaller. And uh, I will go maybe in here, F6, and I will go to the, this one, and I will make this uh, bigger. And this can be the original uh, size. So I am going to position it maybe like so. I am going to create classic twin and I am going to one more time uh, click on these uh, keyframes and I am going to uh, choose that I want to have uh, easy in out. I will double click on this option. You can also go with the, these other options. Uh, this is going to make the easing even stronger but I prefer to go with this one. So something like this. And right now we are going to have a house like so and then the chimney like so. And now what I can do is I can extend the timeline of the house because it is going to disappear. So I will go to the frame 100 and I'm going to click F5 or right click and insert frame. And uh, I'm going to click Ctrl Enter and I will see how this is going to look. So we are going to have something like uh, this. 
Uh, that is one thing uh, which uh, is possible that is going to happen and uh, maybe, uh, and I explained this little bit in the long version of the tutorial, uh, but maybe uh, in the animate everything is going to look fine, uh, but uh, in the browser uh, maybe the chimney can be a little bit offset. So what could you do uh, if you are going to have some kind of issue like that? Uh, maybe you can go in here and uh, double click on the chimney and just move it a little bit. So I'm just going to click arrow uh, to move it uh, very, very, very little. And uh, that could uh, help you if you have some kind of issue. Uh, but yeah, uh, by default, this is going to be, uh, this is going to be looping forever. And uh, you can play with this uh, as much as you want. And uh, yeah, if you want to more, uh, if you want to know more, you can go ahead and watch the long version of the tutorial. Uh, so thank you very much for watching, uh, and uh, maybe I will see you in some other tutorial. If you like this video, hit the like. And yeah, thank you. Goodbye.